Today we're going to show you how to assemble a pantry cabinet. This procedure can be used to assemble our pa the majority of our pantry cabinets here from cabinet and stone, regardless of color. Um, so without further ado, let us proceed. Start first by opening the box up. You can put the foam to the side, you won't really need those. Place all the accessories to the side so then you won't lose them, along with the other cabinet parts. Make sure you don't get confused with the kick plate. This is the frame of the pantry. The rear pan the one of the side panels and the shelves. Actually one of them is the shelf. Better said, those are the shelves. We're going to start assembling the cabinet from the face or the frame. Start by administering any sort of wood glue you would like to use for this along the grooves that are in the cabinet. Make sure you get a decent amount inside these grooves. Then put in some glue along the horizontal grooves of the side panels. Put into its corresponding position. One thing to note though is that the smaller the smaller door is the top of the pantry. 
so try not to get that confused. Once you have placed these panels in, lock them in with the cam locks. Again, to each side of the panel, put them in, put some glue inside the horizontal or vertical in this case, grooves on these panels. Now, this panel here with the cam lock is going to be is the base panel for the cabinet. This clean one here with no cam lock goes right in the center. Make sure you align those up inside the grooves. And then this last one with three cam locks goes at the top. Secure them with cam, secure the cam locks or the panels to the cabinet. And then you could take the rear panel and put in glue inside the grooves and also the sides or edges of the panel. You can put that all the way down. Once you have done that, align it inside the grooves and press them together. So then you can secure the cam locks into place. So Remember to tighten the cam locks at the bottom. Now for the kick plate. Align it inside the cam locks at the bottom and screw that into place. And to make the cabinet even sturdier, go ahead and place some, um, we recommend inch and a quarter staples around the edges of the cabinet. Try to space them at equal length. Now flip it over and lock in the cam locks that are inside the cabinet. Now we're going to move on to the doors of the cabinet.
start by putting in the hinges. It might also be helpful to separate the pins and to sort the accessories. You can now take the silver screws included with the cabinet and use them to screw in and secure the hinges to the cabinet door. Once you have brought that over to the cabinet, screw, you can screw the hinge to the frame of the cabinet. And then you can put in the shock absorbers along the edges of the cabinet door. Now we're going to move on to the bigger door and we're going to do the same. Take the three inches and put them into the notch that has already been cut out Afterwards, you can screw in the hinges and secure it to the door. Bring the door over to the cabinet. And once you have aligned it into position, you can then proceed to screw in the hinges to the cabinet frame. Again, remember to put in the shock absorbers along the edges of the cabinet door. After this, you should have a completed cabinet and the only thing left would be to put in the pins and shelves inside the cabinet.